it is very important to uh, encourage people to express themselves creatively and um, you know um, use art um, as a medium to uh, voice the message and the, the will of the Sahrawi people. My name is Mohammed Suleiman and I am um, a Sahrawi artist. Um, I was born in the Sahrawi refugee camps in Algeria. I grew up in um, a family of um, artists, so my father is a calligrapher and uh, uh, my grandmother is a poet, a couple of my uncles also are poets. I just grew up in that um, you know, um, atmosphere, but um, when I moved to study in Algeria, where I spent a good deal of my time, I also you know, get to know an amazing community of um, artists and um, creative people, and uh, that just helped you know, boost my talents and my you know, passion for art. Practicing art has um, only been like demonstrated in my daily life. Uh, only when I finished school. Before that, I was always I had passion for it. I practiced a little bit, but um, school uh, you know took most of the time, and uh, I didn't have the space to do it. But um, you know, after I finished school, I just gave it all my time. So I would say from the moment I wake up, I I'm doing something you know interesting. I'm playing with uh, with something. I am you know um, you know practicing art in various ways. Yeah. I've been working on you know getting my hands on really so many things at the same time. Um, and I just love to um, explore things and get to know things and um, explore myself through different um, you know, creative uh, and um, art mediums. So, so I do traditional arts like calligraphy and some crafts and handmade things. Uh, I also play a little bit with photography and stuff. Recently I've been working on building a space for me where I can make art and uh, create and learn um, an art studio in the refugee camps. Uh, and, um, that's, uh, I would say, one of the most important projects um, for me and I've been putting a lot of uh, time and energy and uh, uh, focus into it really. Art in Western Sahara is um, a lot about um, oral expression, so uh, we have a lot of music, a lot of poetry, a lot of stories, a lot of, like, oral literature. Um, and uh, there are like a number of visual artists, but um, um, oral art um, expression is more powerful in the camps and in Western Sahara general, due, due just to the fact that it's uh, an oral culture. One love, one people, Western Sahara, you're not forgotten. Yo, Islam, bring the fire. Arba'ina am, kafim al ahtilal, yalli b'ayni kshof, yalli b'udhna kasma'a, al-shaab al-Sahrawi. طالب بالاستغلال أصبحنا كلمة واحدة والواجب هو النضال بصار الوان انت آني والسيث والارقى الاسبيرا الاسبيرا انت نسبير من السكن بيا دي اثيرا كل من دون تيرو سنتيرا كستان تندي دالا بيلا هاي دنترو ياكي فويرا ينو سنبا غرا صغيرا استطيرا صخرا ليبري دي العيون استا القويرا استس الريال دي سيو دي لو بوبلاثيون انتيرا ابسولوتا اندبندنتيا وش كاس ما السولوثيون يس ني ايدياس ني مادياس يوون ارما conflicts um, tend um, to um, really um, damage the cultural reputation and damage the cultural practices. Um, uh, wars, you know, it's hard for art to survive among violence and um, you know, conflicts and wars. Um, but um, I am very happy that my people maintained um, strong connection to their culture, to their uh, traditions, to their um, arts and, um, you know, uh, 
even mm -hmm. though after 40 years of um, division, either, I mean, I'm talking about the Sahrawi people, um, mm -hmm. half of the people living under occupation and half of the people living in refugee camps, um, we still practice art, we still, you know, um, sing, we still, you know, uh, organize events, uh, you know, arts and uh, music, and uh, yeah, the, the conflict has lasted for a long time, and um, uh, Morocco has strong allies, but um, I am not um, uh, pessimistic, I am optimistic about the situation because if my people have been patient and uh, believing in the cause for the past four, 40 years, we are still together, so making it, I think 